Ready for a no meat, no egg, no dairy, fast, low cost, little energy to make, great tasting meal, then let's make one. Hello, uh, it's another pizza. I love pizza. Of course, you know that by now. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm doing another pizza on this stuff. I love this stuff, it's fantastic. Um, I always like to give a little explanation in case you haven't seen any of the other videos that I use this on, uh, or in, excuse me. Uh, these come two in a package. Uh, they're really great, they're already pre-done. So. It's, it's really no, you're not cooking anything here. You're just really getting it hot. So all my ingredients are all basically, you can eat them now without putting them all together. But I want to heat them and combine them and get them embedded into the bread and all that good stuff so it's all good. But it's going it, to, it usually takes about six minutes in my toaster oven to do the pizza. So that's real quick. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you what I've got, and then I'm going to cut away. I'm going to get all that ready, then I'm, and I'm going to combine it, make the sauce, and put it on. So the sauce is going to consist of roasted peppers, which I love. Um, and this time I'm going to use tomato paste with it. So it's going to have a nice tomatoey, and I've done this before. It comes out really good. Uh, tomatoey uh, roasted pepper, just fantastic. I'm going to dry my roasted peppers out. Once I chop them up, I'm going to get rid of all the excess water and then put the paste in, and then have a little bit more of a drier sauce for this. And I am gonna cut this in half, I'm just making my one part, but you can make one, two, three, whatever. They, these are typically don't fit into a microwave, as I've explained before, I mean, excuse me, into a toaster oven, as I've explained before, uh, because they're 16 inches. So most toaster ovens, if you wanna put that category, toaster ovens, it's not gonna fit into, but some table ovens, the bigger ones, this may, uh, typically, toaster ovens are about 12 to 13 inches inside. If I ever make two of the, or one whole one of these, I just cut it in half to start with and then just put them together. Or you make it in a bigger oven. It's that simple. So, uh, so along with that, I'm going to have, I'm, in the sauce goes, beautiful, look at this just gorgeous roasted garlic. This stuff's like candy. I mean, I could eat this stuff like candy. It's so good. <laughs> I just love roasted garlic. I put it on so many things combined. It was, it's just fantastic. And of course, regular garlic and garlic in general. But roasted garlic is just takes on this sweet taste. It's so good. Uh, I've got some green onions or scallions, whatever you want to call them. And then I've got some cilantro, some salt and pepper, the basic stuff. That's going to go into the sauce. And then on top, I'm taking my mesquite smoked tofu, which you, I have a video of how I make smoked tofu, real simple, easy, fast, outside on my little small tabletop grill, I make the best. Ah, it smells like, like ah, delicious mesquite smoked. I, I, I've used hickory mesquite, uh, all the different flavors of uh, smoking wood, and they all come out a little bit different. This one's mesquite, and you can see the lovely grill marks on there and everything is fantastic. So I'm gonna chop that up though tonight fairly fine. Uh, and then I'm gonna sprinkle that on top of the sauce. Before I do that, I'm gonna put it in a bowl with some olive oil and uh, a little tiny bit of salt and pepper just so it's on that stuff as well. So it's because the little bit of salt and pepper that goes in the sauce is gonna be underneath it. So I'm gonna get all that ready, chopped up, ready to go. There's no point you sitting there watching me chop up stuff because it's pretty boring. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I've got everything prepped so I can start mixing it together and put it on to show you all that. Now I, I did shoot some pictures so I'm going to put these things up so you can actually see them a little better um, as I go along here so it just just makes it a little easier for you to do. Uh, again this is just didn't mention it but I get these already done. I, I love this you just get them out of the jar. It, it's so much more economical less energy to get to, to make these yourself is just a huge amount of energy and time and everything, the roasted peppers. Um, so this is one large pepper uh, that I've chopped up. It's, it's quite a bit, as you can see it. And, and again, I'll put the pictures up as I, as I go along. So this is going to go on. I'm just going to combine this in the bowl with the uh, roasted garlic, 
chives, or excuse me, uh, green onions, and the cilantro, and then a little salt and pepper, and that's going to be the sauce, basically. Okay, so that's um, what's going to go on here first. Uh, I am going to just drizzle a little bit of olive oil under here uh, onto this and smear it around on the bread. I like that. It just has a, a great flavor and, and texture to it. So we're going to get this into the bowl. Uh, one thing I do want to do first is I did want to just dry it up a bit. So I'm going to soak off some of the moisture. And that's an easy way to do it just by using a paper towel or one of these paper type napkins or whatever. And you can see how much moisture is there. So I'm just pulling some of that off because I want it just a little bit drier. Um, and then we'll put this in here in the bowl. It smells so good. These fire roasted uh, peppers are just fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to take some uh, of this, and this is, you, you can get a feel for this, how I'm doing it, but you may want to adjust it. You, you may not like that much tomato paste in it, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. That's up to you. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of it in here. So there's one and roughly two, so I have a good idea of what that means and looks like. Okay, and then I'm just going to mix this together with the roasted peppers. So we got the tomato paste going with the roasted peppers. This is just going to be fantastic. Now this is not seasoned yet with anything, so I'm going to do that right now um, and get that in this mix. So see it makes a really nice, thick, beautiful tomato paste, pepper, tomato paste uh, sauce, just fantastic. Um, I like it that way. Now, you, again, you can use one tablespoon, use a teaspoon. I, I make these pizzas without any uh, tomato at all, and then sometimes I use regular tomato uh, just and put it in. But I like the flavor of tomato paste. It takes on a really interesting flavor when they, it gets in this uh, condition. It's really, really good. Just gonna put a tiny bit of salt. I don't use a lot. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'm just going to drizzle my little olive oil on top of my bread here. This gives it like a coating a bit to keep everything from soaking in too much. So I just like to you know, just hand rub this down so it's all over this. Because I, I really like the, the bread to stand up or the crust to stand up nicely uh, to your to texture. You know, like pasta, you like it, you know, if you like it like me, I like it very al dente. So I, I want to chew the, the, the bread. I like it. It's, it's part for me. But you can skip that step. You can, again, you can skip any step you want. This is a, a basic way that I do it. You can follow it. You can adjust it. That's the beauty of it. So now I'm going to put these ingredients in. So that's the uh, cilantro, the green onion, and the uh, roasted garlic. Now I left the roasted garlic nice and chunky. I like it that way. I don't, if you, if you chop things up too much, that's why I didn't chop up the peppers too much, it, it kind of throws everything into one big mess. So some texture, some size, keeps everything a little bit more separated in your mouth so you get all those textures and, and flavors. So this is just a, a beautiful sauce. I mean, just, I can show you that because it stands up there really nice. A little closer to the, just gorgeous. Just really, this is, topping is just fantastic. And it spreads really nice. So it, again, it's not soupy. So I'm going to take this now and spread it over the top of my bread. Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, God, that's just, just gorgeous. Like that. And at this point, I'm just going to do... Get that warm. I give about, because this is going to take about another three minutes, and that's all it really takes to get my pizza stone heated up. Um, I don't like to just put it in and then turn it on, because then you have too much top heat and not enough heat underneath the pizza crust. So I'm going to tip this up so you can see it, because it is just beautiful. Oh, just fantastic, gorgeous. Get every drop on there. Uh, you, you can eat this right here, right now, if you want. Just eat it. It's nothing. 
Oh, it doesn't need to be cooked. I just like it all kind of blended and cooked together. But So look, gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. You can see all the, the green in there and all, oh, that's just beautiful. And don't forget the basil goes on at the end. So I'm just gonna take the same bowl, don't really care here. No point in doing another one. And this is the tofu, you can see it's all chopped up. So I'm gonna put it in and just do a little bit of seasoning on this so it gets all around it. Now when I make the smoked tofu, you, you'll be able to watch the video on it. I pre-season it with salt, pepper, and granulated or powdered garlic, whatever you wanna call it. On, on both sides, but they're thick. So it's not really embedding itself. It does, I vacuum pack them all afterward. So it does get into the, into the tofu, but not as much as if they were wet with a flavor, because then it really soaks in. So in this case, I'm just gonna put some olive oil in it, just a little bit, like a half a teaspoon, that's all I'm putting in there. And I'm just gonna coat these so they get nice and uh, browned up nicely. And I'm just gonna put a tad, just a tad bit of granulated garlic, I mean, just, I'm talking not even noticeable. Uh, but that'll get on the outsides of it and it'll give it a little better flavor. A little bit of black pepper, not a lot. And again, you adjust how you want it. Just, a, just one little crank of salt. That's all I'm putting on this. And then I'm gonna spread this over the top. And it doesn't, you know, it's gonna get sauce on it anyway, so there's no point in dirtying another bowl to do this. So I'm just gonna take and kind of sprinkle it around here the best I can. It's starting to look really great. And oh, by the way, this is, you know, the protein side of your meal. So this whole pizza is probably about 15 grams of protein. And it's, the way I make it's one serving. You might, might be a little heavy of a serving for some uh, and might not be enough for others. Others may want to eat the whole 16 inch piece. I think there was a point in my life I could have, but not anymore. So this is just all gonna get all sort of baked together. It's all it's gonna take about six minutes. Oh, this just looks fantastic. Can't wait to eat this. Wonderful, okay, that's done. And I'll just tip it up the best I can to show you what it looks like. You can see it there. Oh yes, just beautiful. That's all gonna just brown up beautiful. And again, it's about six minutes. I'll watch it. It uh, you know, depends on temperature and all sorts of other things. Could be seven minutes. But going in the oven. Oh, I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's out. Oh, it smells so good. Really, really fantastic. You can see it right here. Just gorgeous, beautiful. The tofu's browned on the edges. Just, just, ah, fantastic. So let's stick the basil on top because my mouth is watering. <laughs> I, just, I just can't wait to eat it. All right, let's do a little quick chiffonade here. This is one of the best parts. Let's get this fresh basil right on top. Let's get that loosened up nicely. There we go. All right. Wow, look at that. Oh, beautiful. How gorgeous is that? Ah, wow, that is just fantastic. Beautiful. I'm Foodmaker V, and remember, the best investment you'll ever make is an investment in your health. I'll see you next time.